Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with, I believe we're on day three, four of the RF Chieftain. I gotta say it's been a bumpy road. There's been a lot of high highs and a lot of low lows. Today we're kind of, we're kind of on the end of a high highs, so that's pretty good. So we have went ahead and kind of completed a bit of the Atlas. We're pushing, doing pretty well here. You can see we have killed Searing Exarch and Eater of Worlds. My god, the Exarch fight was not fun. I fucked up a lot on it. But I have to say, after killing him, we did in fact get a Dawnbreaker. And this was one of the big key components for getting this build to feel much better. The huge armor on Dawnbreaker, along with the massive block chance, along with the physical conversion, paired with the physical uh, conversion I have on my body armor, really makes it feel a lot more tanky. Now, it doesn't feel... Still doesn't feel tanky like a Juggernaut or an Inquisitor, but there is an upside to it, and my god, I can't believe I actually thought I, I found an upside. But so far, I will say one thing about Chieftain. It is a very good SSF mapper, and I will show you guys why. So currently, if you look at my tree, I have a few tattoos on, but none of these are actually explode tattoos. I just have like some life regen tattoos, I've got like strength turned into all attributes and that's quite literally it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this map and kind of show you guys an example of what I am talking about. I'm actually going to go ahead and put on this. So the only downside is I don't really have good density in my map since I'm kind of progressing and unlocking stuff still. So once you start juicing your content a little bit, even if you're just getting your pack size to like 40% or adding influence mobs, it will really kind of like pop off. Stop searching for that which sends you spiraling into the abyss. So right now you'll notice that there are explosions. These explosions are primarily coming from two sources. I guess three sources, it's a combination. The explosion themselves is coming from the Chieftain Ascendancy Note. So that's the Chieftain node that gives the 5% uh, chance to explode. Then I also have the Fire Mastery, the meme Fire Mastery, the one that's like 3% chance to kill, you know, when you kill a burning enemy, it explodes. I didn't really like that at first, but once I slapped on Herald of Ash and I got the Prolif on my gloves, um, it all so sort of started to come together. So I didn't really expect it to work this well, especially with such the low percentage chance. Uh, I can see this being exceptionally well once I get a few tattoos. Now again, in a trade league environment, you could just quite literally buy a couple of explode tattoos and I'd say you'd get a very similar result. But in SSF, it can be very annoying to try to farm those tattoos. So playing a Chieftain, even just getting like three of those tattoos would give me 6% chance to explode and then I have my separate 5% chance to explode and then I have the separate 3% chance to explode. And if your goal is to be a fast mapper, you almost always want to incorporate explode. There are always exceptions to this, but for the most part, at least in an RF build, you do. <clears throat> the single target has actually been pretty good for mapping, primarily because you always ignore the, like, Ellie Res map mods, the uh, Tormented Spirits giving bonus Ellie Res. Mainly, the only thing that's annoying is monsters getting a ton of HP. A ton of HP is, is pretty much what counters you. We are also still mapping on a four link, so nothing, nothing special there. Bone creeps, nice. There's not really very big density here for me to show big booms, but uh, in the future you'll see. Oh, there's like an okay one on the shrine. I'm still not happy with the character sustain. I may have to pivot into a vitality setup if I really, really have to. Yeah, I'm currently rocking like, I guess around 2000 life regen, but actually, is that correct? I don't think that's correct. There we go, like 1900 life regen, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good. To be fair, I still have more max res to, uh, to scale. When I get my 23 purity, I'll either be 87 or 88 max res. And then on my boots, I can get one max fire res. So that's another plus one. Uh, and then I'll figure out where we're getting the rest of the max res from. 
So, so far, you know, it's kind of like this weird slippery slope. I have to say after incorporating the explodes, it's added a lot more fun into the Chieftain character. So that's definitely a pro. I, I do. Oh, damn. I thought that said plus one fire, dude. Unlucky. Could have been my new weapon. Yeah, let's go ahead and hover over the gear real fast. So really poopy weapon. Literally picked it up off the floor and crafted fire damage. Been trying to get a new one, but kind of unlucky. Here I've got Malevolence, Frostblink, and Skitterbot. You'll notice I'm actually not running Determination. Um, this is because I'm building Conversion, and I just desperately need more damage. Uh, helmet is just big regeneration with plus one gems. I've got my RF socketed over here. You can see the links. Um, I've got the Dawnbreaker over here. I've got the Herald of Ash, Purity of Fire, Infernal Cry. Now, do note if you want to go more single target oriented, you could just take a Reservation node. Or you might actually just need two reservation nodes here. I have a jewel here I'm using, but just take the two reservation nodes, drop Herald of Ash, and run Skitterbot. Uh, Amulet is just dot multi with crafted life. Um, rings. So I'm not running Tempest Shield. And the way I got out of running Tempest Shield is running a double reduced effective shock setup. Now, with Chieftain, what I tried to do is my goal was to get a tier one fire res suffix. So you can see both of these rings have between tier one and tier two. That gives you a ton of total res. You can see if I take off my amethyst, I lose a bunch of res overall, right? That's because half of your fire res goes to your cold and lightning. So the goal is T1 fire res suffix with another good resistance suffix or like something else, I don't know. Um, I guess in this instance, I would want one tier one lightning res roll because we will use a coil later and that will destroy our lightning res. Um, and then for the prefixes, you pretty much just want life. And I, again, I went with the double reduced effective shock. You could alternatively go with like Garu Khan Pantheon and just run one, but then I have to run a flash to remove bleeding. And you know me, I'm lazy, so I'm kind of going with this setup. Um, yeah, so those are both of the rings. My boots actually got pretty lucky. Um, they're not too incredible, but I have a new pair of boots right over here that I really want to use. They are percent regen no oh, sorry those are the bad ones here are the good ones tier one chaos res tier two lightning res and 15 percent regen and then the goal is to suffixes cannot be changed veiled chaos or ashling to try to get movement speed plus onslaught and then craft life and then kind of be good with those um the belt pretty shit would like an immortal flesh but immortal flesh plus lightning coil is going to be a little hard for me to balance the res so i'm thinking that we pivot right into a um, an elder for me would probably be an elder leather belt because an elder stigeon is kind of a lot of work here. Um, since we get so much flat regeneration because of max fire res scaling, more specifically fire res scaling, the life recovery roll on the belt should be very impactful. So this is kind of something I want to aim towards. Uh, gloves, pretty nice gloves. T3 regen, chaos res, uh, a little bit of life on them. The biggest thing here is the ignite spread to other enemies. That ignite spread is what brings... They explode together um so it's a combination of the ignite explode your explode chance uh, a little bit of ignite chance and then um the proliferation right all of that oh and herald of ash sorry there we go over here i've got fire trap trap and mine life tap and burning the reason i'm using burning is combustion is normally very good but on chieftain you don't get the the minus res on combustion because of your ascendancy node here so we have opted out to use burning damage instead Again, the character is still operating on literal four links, right? I don't have an Elder Helm yet, and I don't have a six link. So honestly, as a four link farmer, it is doing really good for its content. So that is that is like the one thing about Chieftain I'm pretty happy about. I could very much see myself playing Chieftain to just explode content um, if I'm a little bit lazy maybe and don't want to try brute forcing like an Assonance Gentle Touch in the future because that's usually how I build my explode characters is Assonance, and that is gated behind you know rarity there is also the opportunity of always just switching the chieftain into a juggernaut but then if i do that i would have to get like new accessories for example because my res would be completely screwed up anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box uh, except for sundays before i hop off i just want to talk about the atlas really fast so pretty similar to how i originally started out the only difference is I did not end up going into Kirak. I did just end up getting the Kirak missions. I have noticed that All Hands is actually pretty crazy for spawning Jun. So if you ever need your betrayal missions, All Hands is absolutely 
without a doubt the way to go the only problem is all hands kicks out kirak and i currently need kirak for uh trying to get my unique map so i'm not using that combo but all hands is actually phenomenal so right now we are farming uh we are pretty much primarily farming expedition which is where the booms really pop off it's also where you die a lot uh but yeah we're doing expedition and then i currently went into the Exarch Altars to try to get more of the currency, which we actually acquired. So now I think I'm going to be pulling all of this stuff back and probably going into, I think, destructive play to just spawn a shit ton of bosses to try to get influence maps so we can get the Elder Helm. It's kind of like a whole process here, right? So I think that's what we might be doing. I'll probably branch up through the shrines because shrines are very fun on Chieftain, right? Pop into them and just explode the whole pack, but... For now, that's pretty much about it. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.